And then Bob. She had it completely folded under. Bob. <laughs> we are discussing the newest housewife to the cast, Claudia Jordan. But like I know for a fact that you know the guy that got you the car is a married African dude. I feel like Claudia was the first person since watching the show that like sat there and stood up to Nini. I'm in my 40s. That's I it? got you in your 40s. I am. You're like 20 years no, apart. No, we are not 20 years apart, yes. girl. <laughs> when you were my age, you had edges. What you're witnessing right now is Nini Leaks getting red. We're back to discuss season seven. Of we haven't changed clothes now. Three episodes. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> yes, we are recording this all in one night. And yes, she's in the same attire she was in season six. So tonight we are discussing the... Not discussion. Discussing. If it's, I sound like Portia. We are discussing <laughs> the newest housewife to the cast, Claudia Jordan. Portia and I have hung out a couple of times before I moved to Atlanta. We first met in Miami. We have some mutual friends. We had a great time. I knew there was some beef with Kenya, but I'm really all about getting to know someone, you know, and giving people the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I saw you on Disney Nation last night, real cute. Oh, you liked it? Always. <laughs> it, was, it was extra funny last night, though, so. Ugh. Okay. There you go, my dear. Well, side of barging while you're getting your makeup done. I see in the hallways and we finish a little early today, so I want to come say hi. But anyways, I'm going to let you get ready. I just wanted to pop in and start, you know, saying what's up to you. Okay. And just... Well, let me get on in here and start this show. Uh, and I'll see okay. you in the hallways. Have a good show. All right. Really, girl? Really? So yesterday, we're kikiing in the hallway. Today, you're not giving me the time of day. Portia must have heard that I'm hanging around town with Kenya because the shade is evident. Like, what have I done? We made a, a big impact in the season, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is another part of what I discussed a couple of videos ago for the season is like Kenya's redemption. I feel like Claudia is a big part of Kenya's redemption. Because to me, the, the thing that actually made me finally maybe warm up to Kenya was her friendship with Claudia. Hi, ladies. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. All right, Jeff Suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, gorgeous. Hi. Yeah, hi. I don't know that much about wine. I just know I like wine. Guys. This one? I get my drink on. <laughs> I love wine. I love a good Moscato. I love anything that's sweet. It has alcohol in it. Yeah. And then this is a mango dill, so it's gonna Ooh. be creamy with mango. Yeah. And that's to go with oh, the last one. Wait. All right, you guys, enjoy. Thank you. Mango and cheese, huh? I've never had fruit and cheese before in the cheese. Oh my God, that's so good. I need this in my life. <laughs> I, I need a lot of this. Yeah, oh we need, you know, I think they probably we can buy sell it. it. Yeah. You're trading yeah. right, Cynthia? Uh, Since you invited us here. <laughs> I feel like Claudia makes Kenya more likable. I think it's interesting that you find nothing redeemable about Kenya. Well, I didn't say that. I didn't say that there's nothing redeemable. I just felt like up until this point, she wasn't necessarily likable to me because she was the antagonist in many different situations. Okay. So now that we're seeing more of an actual friendship with her, it does make her more likable. Okay. You don't agree? Well, clearly I don't agree because I've never been team anti-Kenya. I guess. I, it's interesting because even watching this live, like when it first aired, right, as a kid or however old I was when this came out. You were like 15, 16. Right. So watching this without the adult brain that I have now, like, I have always, like, I've always liked Kenya and I've always thought Nini was entertaining but even then, I've never seen Kenya's actions as, like, being that bad or irredeemable. So I don't know that I agree with this, like, redemption arc that you have going. Cause I, I just, Kenya's I want to say it's not bad. that she's irredeemable. It's that she's been the antagonist. And when you're the antagonist, it comes a point when usually an antagonist has to be redeemed. And I feel like that's what's happening this season. <sighs> Sorry. That's how I feel about your Kenya commentary. <laughs> Cut that out. I'm not going to include it anyway. I said cut it out. Anyway, circling back to Claudia, one of her first stories is she and Portia 
are at the same studio, even though it's not the same job, but they have beef with each other. Yeah, and they gotta keep it keep it pleasant for the workplace, like Claudia keeps saying. Hey, uh... Why am I seeing you again after hours? Right. Uh, <laughs> Y'all met Claudia this portion? <laughs> what is it, Claudia? Shut up, Ricky, you stupid. <laughs> no, What's sit down. I just want to say I'm just happy to have... The, yeah, give me one of those. Is that, is that the Altoid? It's something like that. Give me some gum. I got gummy bears. <laughs> this cannot be life. Gummy bears? Like, seriously? Is this girl like five years old or something? Yes. We're supposed to be cool, right? But and, and, wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. No, We're not no, supposed no, to be. No, I don't, listen, I don't, listen, not listen. cool. We're not friends. But we have to work in an environment where we have to keep it cool. The, why are you getting frustrated? This because is good we advice don't I'm giving work you. We work together, Claudia. We work in passing. But do you think Portia was not keeping it pleasant? I will side with Portia on this one. I don't think that any of the issues they were having were bleeding over into work because, like, they quite literally don't work together. It sounds like Claudia does the radio show, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, whereas What's Her Face does more Dish Nation, YouTube. Like, they don't, it doesn't really sound like they even cross paths. I guess another person in this season is Demetria. They weren't even at the reunion. Yeah, it shouldn't have been. Good for her. Um, and this Roger Bob nonsense that we hated the Roger Bob. It was just so random and out of place. <laughs> My name is Demetria McKinney. I am and have been for off and on seven, eight years dating Roger Bob. I dated him too. You what? I dated him too. Like, who cares about Roger Bob? Yeah, he's not even cute. <laughs> he's so ugly. In the end, I kind of understood why that was included for Demetria's part of the story. Because I felt like Demetria was kind of like... They were testing her. Like not testing necessarily her. that, but like she was like a driving force in like getting people to... Was it Puerto Travel? Rico? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, she got them to Puerto Rico. I don't know about... Manila, but yeah, yeah. I mean, Demetria play, played a role, and like, I guess she needed Roger Bob in that role, but I feel like they were just really just trying to test drive Demetria as a housewife, and she didn't bring the drama, and that's fine. And I'm glad she didn't, and I'm glad she didn't show up at the reunion because I don't feel like she needed to get sucked into all this shit. But like, that's that's what they do on this show. They test drive women as friends of the show, and then they'll maybe bring them on if they're interesting. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. But she did play a part in getting them to, to Puerto Rico. And then they show their asses, but yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you look great. Thank you. I have y'all's keys. Okay. We're guys. going up to the third floor. Okay. So we'll be back. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So you do the piece of silence. And this, you're yeah. on point with it. Oh, oh, he's always on point. I'm just, I like this. Oh, okay. I do like this. Thank now, if you. I don't want to say nothing that nice, I don't want to say nothing. I'm telling you, this like is on purse. point. It's cute. For a lot of collectors. Mm -hmm. If Demetria wants to have a glam squad just to go upstairs and eat a baguette, honey, that is fine with me. Yeah, I love this. This is very becoming. You did it. One of the things in Puerto Rico was Phaedra being kind of cunty. To, so nasty to and so rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm going to take up for Phaedra here. Okay, I'd like to hear you do this. I just feel like she's in a bad place and hurt people hurt people. And that's what this whole thing was with Demetria. Yeah. Yeah, she was extra nasty, nasty to Demetria when she didn't have to be. But I kind of understand the place that Phaedra's in at this point. With the Apollo situation. Not that it's an excuse. Well, why was Demetria like the target of all of her vitriol? That's what I don't understand. As opposed to Kenya, who she believes tried to fuck her husband, or Cynthia, who's putting her on it's an, blast. It's an easy target, unfortunately. Yeah, I can believe that. I mean, I, I don't disagree with that analysis. It does very much seem like Phaedra was just being nasty this season because she was miserable herself. Exactly. But coming at Demetria just kind of made it like, girl like it's it's hard for us to even root for you when you act like this to a total innocent stranger you know i mean i agree what i wanted to say was i want to make sure that if it is shade that i address it mm. 
At the studio, you went from asking if I had actually smoked crack. Okay. You said you played a crackhead. On and, and you I asked said, wow, if I actually ever... smoked because crack. Because a lot of people have played roles and they have done it. Do you think that that was shady? I thought that was shady. I thought the conversation about my age was kind of whack. Well, I said a woman of a certain age cannot be a pop star. Boom. That is correct. I'm younger than you. I'm not saying me, honey. I'm saying you're closer than four to 40 than 20, correct? So I'm just being honest but with you. I did not want your opinion at okay, that well, point. And then you, you definitely got in on my relationship. You don't want to bring up your relationship every I five do. minutes. I, I could care less. my relationship to Well, then about. why do you talk about it if you don't want to make a topic of discussion? Do you really want to do that? No, because I'm not talking about my relationship. You're talking about yours. No, no, no. Honey, honey don't well, do that. No, don't you do don't that. do it because all you, saying, you don't know me. Is, all I'm saying you is, don't know me, the sweetheart. only thing we have in common right now is number eight. Yours is going. Mine's been here for eight. But the biggest thing in Puerto Rico was what turned into an argument between Nini and Claudia. <laughs> and then Bob. <laughs> She made herself a bob. No, she said she folded it up. She had it completely folded under. You gotta put do the sound effect out here. I don't think I have that sound effect in my arsenal. What's wrong with a bob? Nini, hers is tucked. However, I feel like Claudia was the first person since watching the show that like sat there and stood up to Nini. Yes. And gave her as much shit back as Nini was giving to her. Yes, absolutely. True Aries energy, 100%. You could see it on her face where, like, it was pissing her off that they were attacking Demetria, even though she had invited them there. They were, like, clearly having side conversations and, like, weren't being a part of the main discussion. Like, yeah, you could see that she was actively getting pissed off. So, yeah. And good for her. I felt like Claudia was in the right to stick up for Demetria. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with that. Would you throw in shade, Phaedra? Girl, I don't even know this girl. I could care less about her. Mm. Well, Candy, why don't you check around Puerto Rico and see if there's a studio we can go drop some beats. <laughs> People some ass Rude. Disrespectful. Do you guys care about resolving the issue? She clearly has an issue. Ask Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley, Nini, has nothing to do with this. I've never seen women act so immature. All this, what, that's funny? There's nothing wrong with her asking her and putting it on the table in front of everyone. That's not being shady. That's actually putting it on Front Street to discuss it like grown women instead of these little side immature conversations being bitchy and catty. Oh, you have your own brain. Why wouldn't I have my own brain? Oh, just make it Nene, sure. stop, please. Yeah, please, That's just making sure you can think on your own. Because I know you have somebody that is stopped to getting you, getting you together over here, telling you when to drink, yes. when to speak. Thanks for the drink, by the way, Nini. Yes. When to talk. From the woman that is the puppet master. Puppet master? Girl. Just because I'm being quiet don't mean that I don't have that fire up inside of me to get you all the way together. Bitch, I ain't no puppet. You about to find out. I'm a puppet master on these jobs, though. You've been seeing What that? jobs? The ones that got canceled? I'm in my 40s. That's I it? got you in your 40s. I am. You're like 20 years no, apart. No, we least. are not 20 years yes. apart, girl. <laughs> when you were my age, you had edges. I gotta be honest. Claudia is reading Nini like hooked on phonics. Okay, girl, bye. Bye. Because I know bye. you need to have an argument with the queen. You started with me. I didn't start an argument with I you. I didn't start with you. You I did. I didn't start with you. Girl, you've been struggling. I've been struggling, right. Okay, oh. you're so red. Yeah, I am so red. Oh, and that's the you, hair that you chose to buy. This is the hair yeah. that I chose to buy. What is that? <laughs> it's like top ramen noodles that's like uncooked on her head. What you got is half breed. It's not in Atlanta. They ain't looking for you. Oh, you don't like half breed? Hey, you're a whore. You just slept with everybody. They don't yes, want you. Your clit so... has left your body. You're dressed in cheap this week. Oh, this, this is off the runway. Now, this is off the runway. No, they don't make those the... sizes for the runway. Girl, you better, pull, you better zip this zipper down and see what this is, honey. I don't know. They make them when you got the coins. Really? You can buy them off the runway, bitch. Oh. They will get your size. Bitch, you overpaid. No, I didn't overpay, honey. You did. You know you got it wrong. I know you wouldn't know what come down the runway considering what you got. Because right, I didn't ever walk down the runway. Well, yeah, you should have a little less spaghetti in your diet. Girl, bye. Oh, yeah. Stop the take. Stop. What you're witnessing right now is Nene Leaks getting red.
And in that situation, Nini and Phaedra and Portia came off like the mean girls. Uh, yeah, they looked like losers for sure. So that that's what sold me on Claudia. It's not that she's half Italian. It's that she. It's not only that she's half Italian. <laughs> it's that she stood up to Nini and won the argument, in my opinion. Yeah, Claudia is very clearly like a principled woman, which I can respect about her, and like. She's funny, she's quick with it, and she's just good. And we kind of need that on the show. I don't feel like we have anybody on the show that, other than maybe like Candy, who like really sticks to their values and principles of like lines that they won't cross, but is also funny. So, mm. what? I feel like Candy, yeah, she's like that, but she's a hypocrite sometimes. Yeah, when it comes to her man and her baby and her mama. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I felt like Claudia was it. And Candy's not funny. I don't think Candy's ever said a single thing that's made me fucking laugh. <laughs> okay, well, I won't go that far. You're not funny. But Claudia... <laughs> Let me stop if she make a response video. <laughs> I don't think we're... I don't know if we're that popular yet. <laughs> she might make a response video just for the likes of somebody like us. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> but Claudia is... Claudia was a breath of fresh air for the season. Yes. And I'm sad that this is her only season. Yes, I've been spoiled. Is it really a huge spoiler to tell you Claudia is not coming back? I mean, I guess not. I guess I would find out in episode one of the next season. But I don't know. I liked Claudia. She, I felt like with the whole divide within the group, mm -hmm. that side needed a Claudia. Because without Claudia, it's just what? Cynthia and Kenya? Yeah, I think Claudia may have also been too real for a show like this. Like, well, it's supposed to be the, the real housewives. Nah, it's the real fake. Like, she very clearly, like, has principles that she mm. wouldn't compromise. and. But how does that not make for good TV? It does. But also, Claudia has to be, like, a willing participant mm. in this, right? So if they... I actually think the real reason Claudia didn't come back is because they didn't want to offer her a full-time housewife position and like the money wasn't worth it to just be a friend of the show not with all them funny quips nah bitch you pay me full time or you don't get me at all well they should have paid her yeah they should have yeah the other thing that annoys me with Porsche's being up Nini's ass and others have said this in the past though is like oh Nini becomes Nay Nay they're the same person <laughs> yes so what is that I, I don't know <laughs> Just an excuse for Nene to act wild? I guess Nene won't choke a bitch, but Nene will. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I think Nene acts the same in all situations. She does. This is also when Claudia brought up Portia being with a married African. You apologize to her, she apologized to you. Why can't you just move on? I don't appreciate like the double standards in this group. What's the double standard? I just don't like how you were like kiki and laughing when I was being called out of my name like, about being when she was calling me a whore the other night. You found that entertaining, and I just didn't think that was cool at all. But like I know for a fact that you know the guy that got you the car is a married African dude. It's funny because as much of a whore that I'm supposed to be, Portia, we don't even want to get into all the times you've been to Africa and sleeping with married men for bags, cars, and shoes. Do you think Claudia was making that up, or do you think they have friends in common? Uh, no, I feel like Portia was probably fucking around with a married African man. I mean, it's Atlanta. All these hoes probably got married African men. <laughs> what is them with Africans in Atlanta? I, listen, I'm not from Atlanta. I can't speak for what goes down in that city, but... I'm gonna from, ask Aspen. From, Remind me to ask Aspen. Aspen. <laughs> they out here fucking African men? You let us know. My understanding of it is that Atlanta attracts scammers, scamming ass African men. And if you are a hardworking African man, I apologize. But the rest of them hoes are scammers. And... We'll see the repercussions of that. Let's move on. Oh, now. interesting. I don't know what that means. Honestly, yeah, good. I don't. You heard it here. Hmm. Intriguing. Honestly, the last thing I have in my notes for this portion of season seven is... Right, you shut your ass off. Is Nini's atrocious wigs this entire season. So awful. <laughs> Why? So bad. First of all, her look in confessionals where it looks like ramen noodles just attached <laughs> to her head. Why? Yeah, her wigs were terrible this season. 
Yeah, they were bad. I mean, I don't know if it's my place as a white man to attack. No, I think you as a white man can see that the wigs were trash. They were bad. There was one that looked brighter than Frankenstein. Historically, your people have liked terrible wigs on black Uh, women. So the fact that you don't want to marry her and make her, you know, have a soft life. Give me natural hair any day. Well, that's not what she has to offer. I can see that. Yeah, her wigs are terrible this season. Ramen. Terrible. Like the, her, the ramen noodles not gotta go. They gotta go. Like her personality. 